Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, so today I'm going to show you how my uh, grow is going. We are at week six and um, I've already taken my first harvest. Last week I took some chard and some Thai basil, uh, which I've already eaten. Tasted pretty good. Um, so far so good. There's no, uh, no bugs in my grow and everything looks pretty healthy. Um, what I'm going to do today is take another harvest of the chard and then also take out some of the uh, the plants in here. I, to, I, I ended up uh, with too many plants and I need to thin it out because it's getting pretty dense as you can see and uh, so I'll just walk you through that process. Um, first I'll take a little bit of a harvest and then I'll take out some of the plants so that there's more space. Uh, in the very back there's little mini micro dwarf tomatoes. Um, they're flowering. I don't, I don't think uh, there's any fruits yet but I did pollinate some of them uh, last week so um, we may see some tiny fruits today, I'm not sure yet. Um, so uh, with that, why don't we just go ahead and get some, some chard out of the way. And I just put this water bottle here for reference. You can see, uh, gives you an idea how big uh, the chard is right now. That's how the uh, the root system is looking right now. It looks pretty healthy. You can see that the uh, the red chard actually has uh, pink roots, which you would never probably see if you're growing in the dirt unless you dug up the roots. And um, the white chard has white roots, and the yellow chard has yellowish uh, looking roots. It's pretty cool. You can see some of the basil has started flowering also. Um, I'll probably let some of it go to seed, but not yet, since I want it to keep growing and get bushy. So there is uh, there's one little tomato right there. And then on this other plant, uh, there's another tomato right there growing. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do now is just show you how the uh, pH of my tomato plants are doing. I already put in some of the uh, solution in here from that little bin. I'm going to add the uh, pH color indicator to see how how uh, how acidic or basic it is so looks like it's still within range so it's a it's a yellowish greenish so six to six so this was the uh, solution for the basil plants which you have right at the bottom of the screen and this is definitely a little bit high so I'm going to need to add some pH down to get the pH back in the five to six range you can see it's a nice it's a nice green color 7.0 ish so I uh, finished feeding all of my my different bins here and I rechecked the tomato bin to see how the pH was after I had fed it uh, new nutrients and uh, the pH came back pretty good so um, it's at 5.0 5, 5 about so I'm not going to add any pH down